a blade at. So we use the blade to learn to defend against the blade. So we don't use the blade to kill people. Make sense or not? But to understand how to defend against something, you have to be a little bit proficient in using the blade. Does it make sense? Yes? So I cannot learn Taekwondo from somebody who's never done Taekwondo. I cannot, I cannot learn boxing from somebody who's never done boxing. So he has to be good so that I can learn from him. So same thing like this. So I need to make sure I train my training partner to be good with the blade so that I can defend against it. Yes? So when I'm doing this, yes, exaggerate your movement so that you are showing him intention, not how you cut. It's not about you. Yes? We're taking the most general way anybody's going to, going to cut. It could be a slash, it could be a thrust. But when they do that, look at the body posture. They're like, zoom, zoom, and then they go like this. That's why the more you exaggerate, the more your training partner will be familiar on how somebody will attack him. Yes? So you're not doing this to learn how to cut. Yes? So when you guys are doing this, exaggerate. Chamber. Chamber as if when he sees that, then he knows that if I'm going to slash him, I'm going to go like this. Zoom. If I'm going to stab him, chamber as much as possible. So that he knows that if I'm going to stab him, he will see my posture like this. Make sense or not? So again, but control the speed. It's not about the speed. It's all about showing intention. So now when I'm attacking Ray, yes, without Ray in front of me, I'm doing this. But no football, because I'm this close. He, I want him to use his peripheral vision to look at my center. And his, no, his direct vision, direct center, his peripheral vision, just below my waist. Just up here. Yes, because he cannot see below my waist after that, because I'm too close. So what I'm, I want him to do is, look straight and look around here. So whenever I chamber Ray, the receiver, or you, whoever's receiver, yes, look at how the shoulder forward dips and the shoulder goes up. And when you slash, see how the shoulder dips and one shoulder goes up. So do not fixate your eyes on the blade. So I'm doing this, that, chamber, hi, I'm slashing, tip. Make sure the tip is forward. Hi, shoulder, tip. Here, boom, boom. All right, guys? So make sure when you chamber, when you touch the reference point on your body, make sure you pause for at least one second for him to be familiar with. Because, for example, if I'm going to be attacking uh, Ray, yes, I want him to see this. I want him to see this. I want him to see this. Yes? So this posture, or this posture, or this posture is familiar for him in training. So that when he learns to apply it, he wants to look at that, then he knows what to do. <coughs> Same thing when I'm slashing him. If, if somebody's going to slash you, they're going to go, yes? So I want him to be familiar with this posture, this posture, this posture, or this posture. Yes? So when I'm attacking Ray, yes? Exaggerate your intention, shoulder. So don't worry about the foot. Your, your feet just, again, we divide the anti-two, upper part, lower part. So here, slash, boom, touch. Here, that, 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 that. Yes? And when you guys are doing this, try to insert one inch of the training blade inside your training partner so he appreciates what's going on. If you miss, you're cutting air. What, why is he defending against you cutting the air? Yes, so when I'm touching him, later as he learns footwork or he learns how to defend himself, he appreciates that I'm try really trying to touch him, but safely. That's why we're not going for the eyes, the neck, because I know later when he defends himself, I will c cut him, touch him. But it's less dangerous than me hitting the neck, hitting his face. So we're just replacing, we're just making sure that the training is, is realistic as possible, but also as safe as possible. Yes, so now. I'm keeping the intention. So what he can only see until here. Because I'm so close. Yes? The closer I am, then the, his vision will be much more smaller. Yes? So the bigger I am, then he can see more. The closer I am, I'm here. But if I am if I'm arm swing, he will be able to see and react on whatever's coming from here. Yes? So that's why I'm attacking him. Shoulder. So he sees my shoulder pointing towards him. When you guys are doing this, exaggerate as much as possible. So when I'm chambering, make sure your shoulder points towards the center of your training partner. Like this, yes? So when I'm attacking him, see my shoulder pointing towards him. My shoulder still pointing towards him. Now my shoulder pointing towards him. My shoulder pointing towards him. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Exaggerate as much as possible.